Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a video from Steelers Draft Party held on Saturday, April 27th, 2019 at Heinz Field. It used to be called Steelers Fan Blitz. They have now changed the name to Steelers Draft Party, which makes sense because, you know, they like to announce the draft picks from the field, you know, that day and even when I was in line for with some of the players when the Steelers draft picks were announced, the current Steelers players who was in the autograph line for were like glued and you know to the big billboard jumbotron and if they couldn't see the jumbotron they had their ears wide open so they could hear who they would have but um yeah there it is that's the uh some of the specifics on Steelers draft party so I went through a bunch of autograph lines one two three three autograph lines from the one to three o'clock hour and then with autograph lines from three to five I went through five I like to document when I get a whole lot of autographs, so that's my little list there. I'm actually going to tell you the exact order and what I, you know, that I got signed. The, yeah, the exact order of what I got signed and who signed it and all that good stuff. So, from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, there was three people in line. The first one, I don't even know. I'm assuming he's practice squad. Ola Eden, I, I don't know his name, but in any case, I mean... Look at his signature. Who the heck would know who that is? I know who it was. <laughs> it's the guy who has James Harrison's old number. But anyway, yeah, he was really nice, though. He was really nice. I'm going to let you know. I just thought of this just now. On a scale of, like, 1 to 5, I'm going to tell you who was 1 being not cool at all to 5 being, yeah, he's just a great person. This guy, I'm going to give him a 4 because he was really friendly with everybody. So that's cool. Good guy. Ola. I'll just call him Ola. And also with him... He was not announced, but I brought cards anyway because I had a feeling. Got two cards here of John Kolb. I'm going to give the guy a four on the cool factor. Uh, he should be a five because he's just a really good human being. But I'm going to give him a four because a five, you have to be just absolutely amazing. So, yeah, there we go. Got two from John Kolb. And the third person in this autograph session, and he's a five out of five on the coolness factor, Arthur Motes. Oh my gosh, he is super friendly, super cool. Just so happy to be there, so happy to say hello to anybody. Um, so I got this uh, this ticket sign. I have a pair of gloves that he signed for me in the past from this game. Now I got the ticket stub from that game. So this is going to display nicely with those gloves. You're going to see gloves later on, by the way. Okay, that was the first autograph session. Second autograph session had three people. And I'm going to give this guy a four on the coolness factor. He was really nice to everybody. I mean, he couldn't have done anything else to have gotten a five. I mean, Arthur Motes sets the standard. Just being so nice and doing everything right. Anyway, Brogan Roback is his name. He's a practice squad quarterback. He was on the Browns last year. He did a card and one of these paper photos. He was really friendly. I mean, he shook everyone's hand. He should get a five, but a five is reserved for the way high up there cool people. I mean, he was cool, though. Um, also in that group was Greg Warren. I'm going to give him a three. He was average. He was there. You know, he was, he was, he was content with being there. Got Greg Warren. He was the long snapper for the Steelers on the Super Bowl 40 program. And he was actually someone who I really wanted to get an autograph from. So I'm going to go through his line a second time here. And the third person in that group was Tunch Ilkin. Signed a trading card. Wasn't concerned about getting this trading card signed in blue. I was bouncing between Sharpies. So just the black Sharpie is fine. I wasn't going to give him the blue one for that. And he gave me one of those photos. So I went back through that line a second time. And when I did go back through again, I got the Brian... I'm sorry, Brogan Roback on another one of these autograph cards. He was really nice. Greg Warren, who he was, he was, he would be a three, uh, five. He was cool. Got him on the 2015 yearbook. Little project. This was a side project I've been working on. Who I get, who I get. We got Greg Warren, and actually, you know, yeah, that's like four signatures away from being filled, in my opinion. I don't really care who signs it, as long as they play on the team in some capacity. It's it's good. And he also signed one of those paper photos with the 
Super Bowl 40, Super Bowl 43 inscription. Very cool. Thank you, Greg. And then, once again, Tunch Yolkin. He, you know what? Um, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5 on the coolness factor because, you know, he signed the card. The wind, which was really windy, actually blew my booklet to the next page where I actually had another card of him. He saw that. So when he signed that well, first card, he flipped the booklet to the other one and signed that. Then he proceeded to flip to the next page to see if there was any more. I said, no, that's all I got, though. I appreciate you signing the extra card, though. He's like, I'd sign whatever you had in front of me. I, I couldn't believe it. That was so nice of him to do that. And he gave me a paper photo. So, yeah, they were really keeping a good eye to make sure people weren't getting more than one thing signed. But if you were just really, I don't want to say sly, but polite about it or yeah, whatever, you know. That, that was really cool of him just to go ahead and do that. All right. Next up, I went through the line. So that was it for the 1 to 3 o'clock. I wanted to plan it out to hit 3 to 5 o'clock, and there were two people I really wanted to see. Unlike last year, I did not get anybody on my Three Rivers Stadium seat back. Last year, I got three or four. That was my big project. Well, this project became go to the memorabilia, the authentic memorabilia stand, buy a couple gloves of so-and-so and so-and-so who's going to be there and try to get them signed because they're cool people. Now, this next guy, I, I would give him a four out of five on his coolness there, but I know he's just a super cool guy overall. In fact, I got to be in line, wait in line, line for an hour. Realistically, it was about an hour and 40 minutes because before me was Rocky Blyer. And so many people were in line for him. And they didn't get out of line once he left. But this is B.J. Finney. B.J. Finney is just a really nice guy. He's been a cool guy, really nice guy whenever um, the Steelers basketball traveling team's been around. Real friendly, just really friendly, good guy. And, in fact, the people behind me who knew him, um, B.J. Finney's wife came out and was talking with him while we were in line. And they showed him the gloves that I had bought. And his wife was just, like, ridiculously flattered that I would even have bought a pair of game gloves was thanking me. Thank me for being a fan. Thanks for buying his gloves. Thanks for having an interest in getting his autograph. So, yeah, that that's pretty sweet. So those gloves were from the October 28, 2018. I and mean, that just that type of stuff just makes it so worth it because a lot of these people are there because they want to see people. So yeah, but anyway, you can see the. Uh, I don't know if that's going to pick up or not. But in any case, there's your Steelers. There it is. Logo, your hol your hologram, and there's the B.J. Finney autograph. Yeah, he's a center. He's a backup center. Primarily a center. I believe he can play guard as well. But, um, yeah, on his hand that he likes to grip the footballs, he cuts those off, the tips of those, of his right hand off, of his gloves on his right hand off. So there you go. So that was, that was a project. He signed both. I put both in front. He signed them both, thankfully, which is great. And right before that, uh, there was two people in this session. All the sessions from here on out had two people. John Banizak was there. Just got him on this card. He's a three-time Super Bowl champ from the Steelers back in the 70s. But I didn't want to bust out a mini helmet. I'm just going to do that card right now. All right. After that was Matt Spath and Patrick Morris. So Matt Spath signed my 2015 yearbook. Not, not much of a signature, MS with the 8-9. That's just ridiculously way too common with players. And But, you know, Matt Spath was cool. I'm going to give... Oh, yeah, before that, John Banzak, I'll give him a three. He was, you know, just the average cool. Uh, Patrick Morris, no, dude, you get the one for the day. Um, you can tell he didn't really seem like he wanted to be there. Maybe he wasn't feeling well. He's checking his phone before and after. You know, I don't... Yeah. Since I started talking about cool and just how nice these players were, he's going to get the one, but it's not like he was a bad person. He just didn't really seem like he wanted to be there. All right, so next up, and this was the other one I really wanted to get because it's on a pair of game gloves that I purchased there. And this dude is a 5 out of 5 in the niceness category. Is Brian Allen. Once again, when the Steelers basketball team came to town. This guy hammed it up, was so friendly, jumped in the crowd, high-fiving kids during, before, after the game. So nice. So I realize he's not a big profile stealer, but when you're that good of a guy, I want your autograph. So anyway, he signed these pair of game gloves. Couldn't really sign them anywhere else because this is that rubbery stuff. So yeah, th those came out pretty darn nice. like the slight grass stains. 
in the background. So yeah, Brian Allen signed both gloves. Five out of five on the coolness factor. Just like how BJ Fane is super cool, but Brian Allen was just extra, extra cool. And that's just his personality showing there, no doubt. And also with Brian Allen, who, Mike Wagner, nice guy. We'll give him a three. Got a card. And one of those small photos signed. Then I went back through the line again to get Matt Spaeth because I actually purchased a couple of nice, nice rookie cards. Matt Spaeth, once again, I'm going to give him a three. And Patrick Morris, who I gave a one early on. I'm going to give him a two this time because he wasn't checking his phone <laughs> before and after. But um, anyway, after that, final was... And I just missed them. I, there was four people. I was four people left in line when they shut the autograph line down from three to five. It was Jerry Mullins and Ralph Webb, but they were so nice. They went ahead and just started signing a lot of these paper photos, just so they can give them to like the 20 people remaining in line. So, yeah, both of you guys are going to get threes, but that was a super nice gesture. So, you really should get a four for that. But I appreciate that. All right, that's my 29 autograph recap from Steelers Fan Blitz. And if you want a little a bit of amusement, check this crap out. I did purchase a pair of, another pair of game gloves, Marquise Pouncey game gloves. And I didn't even realize until I got home, but oh my gosh, they're not even used. And I checked up the hologram stickers, and they were considered to be game used. And that's obviously not the case. I have emailed as of... The day after Sunday morning, I emailed them to see what I can do about getting my money back on that because I don't want – it's not accurate. And besides, I have a pair of gloves already. In any case, folks, thank you for checking out my Steelers Draft Party autograph recap. Feel free to give the video a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite autograph was. Take care, everybody.